Alright, hello fun and all come back to Starfield where today we are still here in New Atlantis, though not for long, as we have of course received our first proper mission for the Vanguard. After completing our test in the previous episode, which was pretty fun, we now have the grunt work mission. So I've already brought us over to the spaceport, and we need to have a little chat with Chief Harith, who um I think may be a little glitched. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping not too badly, but I got up here to the spaceport expecting, you know, maybe someone standing around over here or something. Nope, nope, they're on another landing pad with a ship, and, um, well, they're not exactly on the landing pad. <laughs> At least, it, yeah, it is definitely supposed to be a ship over there. Um, yeah, the landing pad's here, but they seem to be further back? Oh, thank god, I haven't gotten close yet. They don't appear to be, like, in a wall or anything. Okay, why is the ship, though, not on the landing pad? Why is it back here? I mean, thankfully, they do have enough room back here, so I'm assuming this is intended, but... Oh well, Harith is there, hi. Bullet for leeches, get it fixed up and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, hi Vanguard Tech, and hello Chief Kane Harith. Hello, friend. Ah, you are new probationary then? Uh-huh. Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be oh, working Herath. with you. Oh, Herath, got it. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. <laughs> rocket jockeys. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. Yep. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for Ooh, their first welcome mission. Welcome kit. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all Ooh. the essentials in case of any surprises. Oh, thank there. God, I need more spare parts. My or ship parts, will rather. have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Sweet. Hmm. Why, why is your ship here, though? So, paying a visit to the people of Scenic Tau City 2. Oh, is it Scenic? Oh, I'm intrigued. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Something's gonna go wrong, isn't Any it? Any questions before you head out? Uh, I mean, hopefully. Let's see, I'm all set. No, I'm not. Anything you can tell me about Tau City 2? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until oh, really? you got your record. Oh, okay. Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. So wait, if you didn't think it was, like, inhabited, why did you say scenic? I mean, I guess you can call someplace scenic even if there aren't people there. In fact, it'd probably be more scenic. But how would you have been there then? With, um, oh, who knows. Okay, so what exactly are you putting on my ship? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. Cool. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. Got it. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Okay, lovely. Well, I'm all set then. I was really hoping I could ask more, but all right. I guess you really don't know much about Talseti, so not much to ask there. So uh, let's do this. Then I won't keep you. Okay, thanks. Make us look good out there, recruit. I will try. Seriously, though, why is your ship here? <laughs> why is it not on the landing pad? Is this supposed to be here? Is this a glitch? I don't know. I mean, there is definitely enough room back here, though. But yeah, that weirds me out. Okay, what's our... I mean, just get on our ship and go, yes. But anything more specific? Make contact with the settlers on Tau Seti 2. Got it. So let's go find our goodie box. I assume they just put it on our cargo? Which I don't... I shouldn't have many weapons and other things in there. Spacesuit, sure. So it shouldn't be difficult to find what we're... Uh, what we've been given. Well, that being said... Did I sell my contraband? <laughs> I had some contraband on board. Uh, hmm. I think I did off camera? Well, we'll take a look before we leave. And if not, maybe we'll just chuck it out the back. <laughs> Instead of going to sell it real quick. Because uh, that'll take time. Let's get on in and check our cargo bay. Unless there's literally a box somewhere in here. I doubt that. They probably put it into cargo. Okay, that would make the most sense. Oh. Isn't it a wonderful home, my friend? All right, well, let's... No, I don't see any cases or anything, so definitely gonna be in the cargo bay. Which, I mean, of course. <laughs> but I would you know, I was curious, just in case there was something weird. No, not in the captain's locker, that makes sense too. All right, to cargo, what do we got? 
All right, I just saw the comms repair suite there. 20 mass, not too bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm carrying a lot of resources right now uh, because I've been working on the, you know, keeping my cargo bay full of crap so I can get the uh, jumps for the payload perk done, which I actually think I have finished that now, so I can probably sell things at this point, but I needed to keep it, I think, at like 75% full for those. All right, so some good medical equipment. We're back to nine there. Ooh, meal packs, lovely. I mean, I'm gonna take them. There we go. I'll keep the ship parts in there. Ooh, we did get some frag grenades, lovely. Whoops, didn't mean to, oh, I didn't mean to hit tab twice. <laughs> did we get a new spacesuit? No, just my usual Tracker's Alliance one. I really love the look of this thing, but I kinda wanna save it until I also find a helmet. God, I wish I could find one, though. I really do not like the Mantis suit. I mean, it's good gear, but boy, is it ugly. <laughs> oh, we didn't have weapons in here. Anything? A modified Urban Eagle. This was not mine. Mine were all these, uh, you know, better ones, like the purples and blues. Except for this one singular common one, just because it's nifty. But yes, this modified Urban Eagle... Let's take it real quick and see how it is compared to our Urban Eagle. Yeah, everything else, though, is just the normal things. No, I already looked through that. Yeah, we didn't get any suits or anything like that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, yeah, how's that des uh, not Desert Eagle? What was it called again? <laughs> um, both modified. So mine's 70. That's 77. So I've got a long barrel and a reflex sight. This has got the reflex sight, muzzle brake, and armor piercing rounds too. Ooh. You are nicer than mine. Accuracy and range is down though. And that's actually what I was modifying this one for with the long barrel, because I wanted this gun for longer range. But still, that 77 damage is not bad. Hmm. Yeah, we'll switch it. <laughs> we'll add this one to the things. And B, that's what I'm trying to hit here. Uh, replace that modified Urban Eagle. Lovely. All right. And let's get rolling. Get on the pilot seat and let's head to Tau Ceti 2. I don't believe we've even passed through Tau Ceti yet. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. We'll find out momentarily. But so hopefully it is a new place to head to. So where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, over here. Yeah, I don't think I've been here. Nifty. Well, let's roll. I wanted to go in and take a look at the system real quick, but oh well. Let's just roll straight to Tau Ceti 2. All right. And let's take a look at the map. What do we got in this place? Ooh, a couple of ships. We've got... The space contact over town city six. No actual proper cities or anything, but of course we got some colonists here. Or we're heading to Tau Gourmet Production Center. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much, but it does. Okay, well, Tau Gourmet Production Center. <laughs> Is that, a, is that a food brand I'm not remembering right now? Have we seen a Tao Gourmet food brand? Huh. I don't... I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye for that later. <laughs> I don't know. It's not coming to mind. Like, I remember Landing the here. red rye and Check. stuff like that. Thrusters. Check. Landing site. Uh-huh. Clear. Wonderful. It's a little brown here. Oh, and rainy. Oh, we got some rain going. So are we here at dawn again? Have we arrived? Oh no, I think it's a dust storm outside. So yeah, we normally have a tendency to unfortunately arrive when um, it's late. Yeah, oh no, that's universal time. What's the time here on the planet? Eh? Why was it not showing the time on the planet like it normally does? Maybe because I'm in my ship? I don't know. Oh well. Let's go. God, I keep forgetting to hold. I keep forgetting to hold to exit all the way out. All right, let's get up. Let's roll. What do we got down there? I see another ship in front of us. What the hell? That's, like, super close. We're normally much further away from other landed ships. Hold on a moment. 
Ooh, you're a big boy, too. Noise. Uh, okay, I mean, it's not too bad. It's either dawn or dusk right now, one of the two. <laughs> well, out we go, Barrett. Let's do this thing. You know what? You know what? It should have the time if I hit the bed thing. It's morning. Got it. Sweet. <laughs> uh, you know what I haven't checked in a while before we leave? Have, have the guns glitched again to have something new? <laughs> I haven't checked this in a while. Uh, honestly, since probably we talked about it on cam. No, these are all still there. I think that's a different helmet there. <laughs> Yeah, nothing new this time. All right, cool. Yeah, it's been a while since I've checked that. Good to know. Good to know. Well, let's go to the Tao Gourmet Production Center. I'm still intrigued if there's a Tao Gourmet brand that I'm not remembering seeing before. Hello, thing that is not scannable. Oh, I really figured that'd be scannable. Kind of creeps me out with how it's moving. Hmm. Well, of course, points of interest around the place. Oh boy, that'd be a hell of a time getting on top of that mountain. All right, well, let's roll. I was really hoping I could scan some things near the uh, landing zone here, but oh well. Oh, that's the thunder. I thought it was another ship coming in. <laughs> oh, I like that ship. It's nice. I actually really do like that ship. It's pretty neat looking. It's similar to mine, but a bit bigger. Nifty. All right, where are we heading here? Well, that's not good. <laughs> I saw that, I was like, wait, I thought that, that was something living at first, that that was like an animal, because I saw what looked like legs. No, that is a broken turret with a dead settler behind him. All right, well, let's get out our new gun. And of course, check the settler. Tranquility Classic and a side star? What's the side star again? Oh, you, 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 you. I never use my side star anymore. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, yep, yeah, we've definitely got problems here. And the rain cutting in and out with the sound. <laughs> all right, so it looks like we're a little bit further that way than I thought. So let's check this place out real quick for, um... Oh, God, we're getting some lag, too. Is that due to the rain? The rain seems to be acting wonky. Oh, boy, yeah, there's a... Salvager, maybe? Mammy? Looks like this just happened relatively recently. Yeah, a lot of fresh blood on the ground from the looks of it. Naval cutlass. No. Oh, oh yep, yep, yep. We got some uh, ammunition there. Lovely. Eh, oh, no. Notebooks. Ooh, we got a terminal here. This might tell us something what's gone down. Some weapons. I'll take you. You. Whoops, I'm hitting F, F instead of E to grab. <laughs> no, those are normal things. So yeah, we gotta go more down that way. Alright. I'll check that computer terminal here in a sec. Ooh, some nice ammo. Always grab more medical supplies just in case. Gotta keep ourselves alive. All right, all right, terminal. What's what? Tal Gourmet vision statement since the dawn of the agrarian revolution 10,000 plus years ago. Humanity has been trying to speed up the process of growing food and getting it onto plates. But it always comes at the cost of quality and led to horrific practices like industrial farming, which leads to corners cut and ultimately a worse product. Too true. And we've all just accepted it. We live in a freeze-dried age, but we don't have to. Tao Gourmet is going to change that. We're going to make fresh food cheap and available everywhere. We're going to let our livestock and crops grow as nature intended and use smart automation to harvest and prepare them at the peak of freshness and deliver them with such speeds that our clients won't ever go back to using freeze-dried again. Ooh, inter I like the idea. Doubt it's going to work, though. Probably why we have never heard of Tao Gourmet, or at least while I'm not remembering it. With it's a big task and accomplishing it is going to take focus, innovation, and dedication. And are, are you up to the challenge of changing how the settled system eats? Then let's get started. Cote or Cote Cadilla? 
that's an interesting name. The plan! Holy crap, that's big. Okay, okay, well, we're staying in the middle of an unfinished masterpiece here. The UC military came in, put down some incredible machinery, noise, that they then barely used and promptly left it to rot in the moment the war ended. Ah, I was about to say, why would the UC military bring them things? No, they're taking over stuff just like the spacers and pirates do, moving into an old UC area. Got it. Now, 20 years later, we're here with an Incredible opportunity. Updating this place is going to take some serious work. We're all going to be pulling double, triple, quadruple duty around here. Oh boy. So if you're going through a tough moment, please remember everyone else probably is too. It also means that if you're in a place where you can lighten someone else's load, please do. Equally important are scheduled breaks. These are built into our workload. So if you're on a break hour day week, you better sit your ass down and breathe. Well, that's at least nice of them. Take in the scenery and think about something that's not work if you've got a long spell. Go back to New Atlantis and blow off some steam. Good ideas come from ex unex... That should be unexpected places, I think, but from expected places uh, there. And remaking how food works in the settled systems is going to take a lot of good ideas. Very true. Also of critical importance, survival training is not optional. Very good idea. It's just us on this planet, and while the UC is aware we're out here, every one of us needs to know how to survive out here on our own. Should the unthinkable happen? Well, that didn't pan out too great, at least for these guys here. Finally, if you've ever got an issue of any kind, reach out to the relevant area owner if you and said oh god it scrolls down not very far though good and said area owner can't come to an agreement feel free to grab me coat coat hey i still don't know what that is supposed to be all right so then the area ownership people and then a chores list oh even the even the owner person doing laundry that's good of them They're, they seem to you know oh and doing night watch rotation they seem to be pulling their own around here that's nice of them Always good when the boss actually does work instead of making everyone else do it. Alright, what else we got around here? Let's check up top after... Oh god, yeah, a lot of multiple destroyed turrets that we've seen. Only one body, though, so far. A lot of blood, but only one body. That's all normal stuff. Never mind, found another body. <laughs> Canuck! Oh, and one on the ground. Free Canuck. Ooh, bacon. And poutine. Yeah, the good stuff. Uh, all right, what do we got there? Some Chandra ports. Chunks. All right. So, what'd you have? Ramen multi-pack? Well, they don't need it now. No, they don't, Barrett. Wish you'd stop saying that. Espresso. Always delicious. Uh. Nothing really of value in here, it seems. Oh, do got some ammo, though. And some Synapse Alpha. Oh, is this a... Oh, no, we've, we've read that. I've got one of those, too. Yeah, only two people dead up here, which seems... I mean, there are a lot more beds than that. Huh. I mean, oh well, let's move on. Let's start heading towards the main facility. Do I see any people that are highlighted? What the hell was that? Investigate the scream. I don't want to investigate the scream. It seems like it... It's going to be Terramorphs, isn't it? They're throwing us straight into the Terramorphs, aren't they? <laughs> I just had that thought with the scream. Uh, that makes sense. Oh boy. Well, that's going to be fun. I... That's like destroyed ship. The hell, how'd that happen? I'm actually excited about this. I was hoping the Vanguard quest line would be about the Terramorphs, but I figured they'd ease us into it after a couple of missions of doing, well, the namesake of this one, grunt work. But uh, no, we seem to be rolling right into things. Hello, what are you? Uncommon manufactured material, but not a lot of value to it. I won't pick it up. All right, it's just over here. Either I got hit harder than I thought. Adrian? Or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. What is it? I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. Okay. But be quiet. Oh. A creepy lady out. I guess. I mean, yeah, we really should. Uh, let's let's be quiet then. 
I don't have stealth skills, though. Oh, we got a dead industrial robot. Another settler there. God, I do love that the scanner works pretty well. Speak to the woman! I mean, I, have a, I, I find it amusing that the uh, subtitle had their name of Hadrian, but um, when we're here, it's just woman. <laughs> All right. Oh god, yeah, quiet. Tao Gourmet Production Center. Let's, let's, let's do this. We gotta make our way up there. Is there... Yeah, some stairs there. All right, I'm being quiet. I'm being sneaky. I want to loot the robot, though. I have to. It's, it's, it's in my blood. I must loot. <laughs> oh, that's not great. That's just, like, materials. Eh. Meh. Got anything else? Are we seeing an enemy or anything? I do not. Squall, sure. That's a pharmaceutical. Man, they a lot of things got destroyed here. I'm still surprised by the ship. All right, all right. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Ooh, hey, hold on. What's that? Oh, an assembly line. I thought it was a large vehicle. That is blood on the assembly line. Oh, no. Someone got sucked into the machinery. <laughs> oh, hello. Whoops. I hit F again instead of E. Hi. Hi, Hadrian. How are you? You look wounded. I've got meds. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Vanguard. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Well, what are my options? Shock troopers here to save the day. Actually, the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things were. You know what, first let's ask, are you okay? Oh, I've been better. But I think bleeding out is at least off the table. Oh, that's good. What I really need, though, is someone who knows their way around a weapon. I mean, I'm okay. So, if you wanted to tell me, I'm heavy infantry and I've come to bring you the gift of ordinance, <laughs> I wouldn't mind in the least. I mean, I do have a lot of guns, but I'm a Vanguard. Uh, they failed to mention how bad things were here, though. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. Mm -hmm. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. Okay, okay. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. Oh, well, what were What's you? What were the rumors? Left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. They are throwing us right into one it. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. Neat. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Wow. Oh. oh. Just perfect. Sure. Why not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, we know, but I want to hear her thing on it, because we only did just learn of what they are at the museum. So, uh, a terramorph? What's that? Other than a stark reminder that nature isn't our friend? <laughs> True. You're not wrong. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Uh -huh. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Interesting. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. Cool. They're creatures without peer. Uh huh, uh huh. How do they, how do they, how are they spreading around the galaxy, though? I, I need to know this. I need to know this. So, what kind of anomaly are we talking about here? Theramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. Weird? But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet, here it is. Uh huh. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Oh, so you were specifically coming for the rumor of the Terramorphs. Okay, okay. Are all the settlers dead then? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, so also your ship's probably the one by mine. Uh, not exactly. De equipped to deal with an, a killer alien. Ah, we'll be fine. Famous last words. Sounds like you could use some help then. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, 
I need its corpse. Yeah, of course you do. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant's security system. Oh? The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. Oh, of course not. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Okay. Well, fair enough. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's get the security system back online. I came here to help some settlers not play chew toy for some aliens. <laughs> I like that, but no. Uh, what can you tell me about the security system? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Yes, yeah, all those that were not dead. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. Okay. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Got it, Adrian. Got it. So where can I find the security outpost? It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Right. Then we can see about getting things back online. Oh boy. And you're not coming well. Well, she's wounded, but we're going to ask. Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Ah. Nothing's coming back online if I'm not here. Okay, fair. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than a help right yeah, now. Yeah, with y'all, you you, you're very wounded. Would you like some medical equipment? I have some. So, uh, all right, let's get that security system back online after I double check. Yep, no, we're good, we're good. Let's get it back online. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Got it. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Well, I only use pistols rather than explosives, so I think we'll be fine. Hey, um, lady, there's a trauma pack right here. <laughs> Yoink. Okay, what do we got here? What's all in here? Infrared mine. Nah, I never remember to use mines. There's something else behind it, though. Oh, I didn't mean to hold to equip. It was a frag mine. Okay, I've got to switch my grenades back now. I was trying to pick it up by holding E, but I forgot that holding E also equips a weapon. <laughs> whoops, whoops, I forgot that was a thing. Uh, meal pack, chicken, eggs, harvest, rye, noise. Okay, so we've got to get over that way, huh? With a our first encounter with a Terramorph. I'm intrigued. I think we already have Frankenstein. Pretty sure we have that. Oh, I missed you. Don't need a reactive gauge. All right, Barry, you ready for this? Let's go find a way to a security terminal. What's the best way to go? Oh, it wants me to go that way, huh? I kind of want to go high, though, just to... Yeah, it seems to at least go a little ways this direction. All right, cool. We're outside, at the very least. All right, there's the security building. Not seeing said Terramorph. I'm hoping it doesn't trigger to try and kill us until we're, um... Oh, the, oh, look at all the turrets. Until we've gotten the security going, so it's got to be funneled down that kill path. I'm going to be bait at some point, aren't I? Also, I noticed this, that that's an evisceration building. Okay. <laughs> that's foreshadowing, I think. All right, all right, let's go over here. And, yeah, not seeing said Terramorph. Yeah, a lot of turrets, though. Yeah, we're, I'm going to have to be bait and funnel it in there, aren't I? All right, in we go. All right, check the place first before we turn anything on. Grease gear? What the hell's gre Oh, that stuff. Never mind, we've seen that before. Just didn't recognize it at first, being called Grease Gear. Let's make sure there's nothing in the building with us. We got a dead person. Ooh, Shock Troop Pack. Oh, that's new. It's not as good as mine, but I haven't. I don't think I've seen one of those. I don't think. I mean, I probably have. Let's be honest. Ooh, that's a nice new one. Nifty. I'm hearing some sort of weird sound. That's coming from the machinery. All Run. yours. Space trucker skip pack. Nah. 
Oh, hey, the livestock info. <laughs> Error. Reset required. <laughs> Build logs, Tau Gourmet. Okay, I think we're finally ready to give this a real test. The frequency needs to be calibrated to the size of the stock, though, so we'll need to get some general measurements of the creatures once they arrive. Oh, oh. Is this how is this how the Terramorphs got here? Which I'm still curious how they are getting around. They keep finding them on different planets. How? <laughs> But if this works, it could mean a new era in open-range farming. We'll be able to function without fences. True free range. We're going to make so much damn money. <laughs> uh, build three. Everyone's finally got their hearing back, so I think we can go for test number two. Oh, the frequency thing. Oh, that's what the frequency's for. I was wondering, what, what are they doing with a frequency? It's to keep them contained rather than a fence. Got it. Initial hopes for range and distance might have been a bit ambitious, but we're at least got the fundamentals down. Turn on system, have the signal beam directly into your personal radio, letting you know the location of nearby critters. Oh, that's, never mind, that's what it is. Next up, improving how many animals we can track at once and how far we can track them. That's what the sensors are for that uh, Hadrian was talking about. Nifty. All right, cool. Well, we learned a thing. We learned a thing. No, nothing else in here. All right, well, let's activate this. Security. Connection status, automated turrets. So let's look at the logs first. Equipment dropped today. Additional materials for the livestock tracking system. Ian's cooking up. A couple predators came over the ridge last night. Maria was up, so she took a couple shots at them, drove them off. Those turrets can't get hers can't get here soon enough. Got the turrets delivered at long last. Once those are installed, no need no one needs to night watch anymore. Our lives are about to get a whole lot better. They did not. Took multiple days on ladders, but the turrets are hooked up and ready to go. Goodbye, night shift. I may have been hasty. Turned the things on for the first time last night and blew out the grid. Rewiring starts today. Oh, no. Was it finished? Okay, a couple more tests of the system, and I think we're finally ready for prime time. All the automation they're trying to build into this place draws a lot more power than we initially planned for. Some technical materials, and more excitedly, feed dropped off today. Finally getting perishables at long last. Seems like this might truly be happening. Oh, nice. I mean, it never did. No wonder we haven't heard of Tau Gourmet. All right, that's offline. Needs a reboot. Damage detected. Evisceration building. Power failures. Power reset required. Connection status. Reset security connection. There we go. All right. Allow Hadrian to analyze the system. Sweet. Connection restored. Okay. I'll make this quick. Right. Mm. Plants turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Noise. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings. It. I called it. lead it right into a crossfire. Dang it. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Called it. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. Oh, no. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Oh, yeah, Tune yeah, I found that. To 183.5. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 183.5, got it. 183.5. Status off. Turn on. All right. Frequency. Okay, cool. Uh, 183.5. Target's one. <laughs> Well, there we go. Wait for system to re-engage. Trackers reading green. And what's that sound? The security lockdown uh -huh. is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. I'm in cover. Oh, we just saw we just heard it. There it is. So that's a terramorph, eh? Also, book. I want to grab it. I want to grab it, but let's. I don't want to. Hmm. Look. Let's wait for the terror to be done. Engage directly if you can avoid it. Okay. The kill lanes. They're <gasps> set up. Oh. Need power. Don't open There's the door there. On each of the buildings, you can throw to get them live. 
Uh huh. Once they're online, lead the terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Okay, it seems to be walking away because the Give sound's getting Vanguard. further. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna grab this and yay, new book. I don't know if I have this or not, but yay, history of pirates. Lovely. And uh, yeah, I think that's actually. Oh, it actually told me the distance. They're 48 meters out. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we have a distance marker though. That's good. That's good. Or at least distance knowledge. But I think that's actually where we're going to end it for today though, because we're at 35 minutes and I have a feeling this is going to go on for a bit because we've still got to restore power to the kill lanes and then kill the Terramorph. We could try and take it on our own, but that's... I have a feeling that's going to be death right now with my level. <laughs> though maybe terramorphs really aren't so bad no we should definitely we should definitely restore the power oh boy but yeah so we'll do that in the next episode so hopefully you all have enjoyed uh, this first part of grunt work and you come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching as always we'll have a good one <laughs>